This is the change. This is the change I'm referring to where your body chemistry has changed. You're no longer, if someone's unwell, their cells have changed and they're no longer the way that they used to be. What on earth would cause normal chemistry to shift to this biochemical change or disease? What causes that? Well, when you look into the biochemistry textbooks, the answers are there, but they're just really deeply sort of hidden in there and they're not all that clear. But these are the reasons, these four things that you see in front of you, deficiencies, excesses, imbalances, and toxins. These are the main reasons. Genetics is another smaller one, but I'm not going to get into genetics. It's a much, much smaller part. So let me explain this to you a little bit more. And again, I'm going to give you another story so everyone can understand how we change and how we can change back. I mentioned I've got three daughters. My youngest one, a few years ago, when she would have been eight or nine, was reading one of those human encyclopedia books. She's, she really enjoys this, this sort of thing. She came to me and she goes, Dad, you've got you've to hear this. This is so gross. You've got to hear this. And she reads me a sentence in there. And the sentence said, in the time it takes you to read this sentence, you lose 3,000 skin cells or 3,000 skin cells fall off of you. And as an 8 or a 9 or a 10-year-old, whatever she was, she thought that was the grossest thing in the world. And I, I had a little moment there and I thought, all right, let's use this as an opportunity to teach this kid something. So I turned to her. And I, and I essentially said, so does that mean that you're going to run out of skin? And it took a second or two for that to kind of click over in her brain. And then, you know, kids, you know, they often think their dads are kidding or they're not really sure what's going on. She looked at me with those big eyes and she goes, really? And I went, no. And I explained to her, just like I'm going to explain to you right now, that skin is constantly turning over. You might not have thought about it this way, but the skin cells that you have now are not the same skin cells that you had, you know, 60 days ago. They're changing. So you have this process in the body called mitosis. Most people have heard of that. And you're developing these new cells. So old cell falls off, new cell comes up underneath it, and you've got this change. So what that means is that if you can identify the deficiencies, excesses, imbalances, or toxins, that allowed the body to change in the first place, fix them all for the period of time that that organ or tissue or cell is growing, you can, in theory, reverse most chronic degenerative disease. 